Okay, in this Quick Looks tutorial, we're going to talk about the list feature within uh, QuickBooks. You'll fill out most QuickBooks forms by selecting entries from a list. QuickBooks has a list where you can store information about customers, jobs, vendors, employees, other names, accounts, items or services that you sell, and so on. A particular customer or employee or item is an element of a list. Lists save you time and help you enter information consistently and correctly. When you're filling out an invoice form and you select the customer name from the customer job list, QuickBooks not only fills in the name, but also fills in the address, the payment terms, and then the customer sales tax, uh, based on the information previously entered about that customer. A nice feature in QuickBooks is that you can export part or all of your company list to another company file. Uh, for example, if you work with two different QuickBooks companies, you might want to explore, uh, I mean, export a list of vendors you created in the first company to the second company. Sort of uh, like, for example, if you your list of vendors in one company may also be the same list of vendors in another company. You may be transferring business from one company to another company. And there's numerous scenarios where you, that you can think of where you know synchronizing these uh, vendor lists is appropriate. Uh, another um, thing with the vendor list is that creating a vendor master file is part of an, an internal control procedure and uh, updating and sharing information between the vendors uh, and collaborating between the companies can save you a lot of time of re-entering a vendor uh, and thus also getting their tax ID number and address and phone number and contact and email because there's a lot of features within QuickBooks um, once you set up a vendor with 2011 that you can do like you can pay the bill online you can pay them through direct deposit now and have an email sent to them. So the information and data doesn't need to be redundant and can save you a lot of time. So we'll show you how to do that now. Uh, you open up your company file. You can go to the vendor center and you can see the list of vendors here. And <coughs> we're going to look at uh, Express Delivery Service, which is a vendor here that uh, has no address, no information. And if we set up a new vendor now, um, we can go ahead and go through that. And we'll just call this vendor um, a DHL uh, shipping. Okay. And put company name DHL shipping. Come down here and we'll just say PO box. Just making up information here. Phone number eight hundred. Okay. Then you have your other information here. Say this vendor is eligible for. Um, a 1099 at the end of the year, then you might say uh, zero, zero dash okay. right now. You can also uh, say if you want to persist as
so I don't see where we have shipping set up. But uh, you can do that real quick. Choose add new expense. Now, whenever we write a uh, check to this vendor, it will automatically go to shipping. So let's now we have our list. We added our new vendor. Suppose we want to synchronize the list together. First thing you do is go to File and go to Utilities. And from here, you'll see the Import Export feature. We're going to export list IF files. And from here, we're going to choose Vendor List. Say OK. Use Larry's Landscaping Vendor List. Now I've used this name just to name Larry's Landscaping, which is the name of the company, and then Vendor List. But you can put a date after this if you want to sort of keep like backup records. Because you want to replace it, yes. Okay. And now I've successfully exported my vendor list to an IIF file. And now I want to change over to uh, another company and then import this list. So let's close this company and then we'll choose my new company which is we'll call this sample contractor based. This is a separate uh, sample company file. And as you can see, we have a list of the vendors here, but there's no DHL shipping. So, what we do now is go to new, go back to utilities, choose import, IIF file, there is landscaping vendor. So, okay. It says your data has been imported. Now, I didn't delete any of the vendors that were already here, and it actually put in DHL shipping. Let's double click this vendor, open them up, and you can see the tax ID, the what didn't transfer over would be the account, the pre-filled account. But that's most likely because that account is not set up within this company. So it does not know where to assign it. Right. And that's how you import and export a vendor list from one company to another company. Um, stay tuned for look at some of our other videos to show you some more uh, advanced features of QuickBooks 2011.